Hello and welcome to the Home and Learn video course for VisualBasic.net. I'm Kenny Carney and this is lesson two, I think. So if you click on VisualBasic.net on the website, and where are we? We here, I think, with this one. Adding controls using the toolbox. Adding a text box to the form. I think we'll do these. Maybe that one as well. And these, possibly. All of these. So from there. If you want to do the text course, you go here. Let's have a look at what we had. This is the form. This is what we had from our previous lesson. We add a blank form. Now we're going to add a text box and we'll also add a label a little bit later. To add a control from each toolbox to the form, you can simply double click on a control. Double click on this one with your left mouse button and it will add it to the form. And you can move it about, move it anywhere you like. And another way you can add controls, if you click on the text box once with the left mouse button, move the mouse to the form, you'll see the pointer changes. You hold your left mouse button down and drag out to a new size, you'll get the text box. Again, you can move it around. And you'll notice straight away it's got a width property. You can change the width and drag it on the sizing handles, but you can't change the height. The reason for this is one of these properties on the left hand side. Oh, there is a multi line property, multi line, and by default it's set to false. But if you click here, drop down box, and you can set it to true. And immediately you can change the height and any size you want. Or like as in the previous lesson, you can change the size here if you wanted to change this multi-line. If you change that back to false. Incidentally, if you can't see a properties area, if you've uh, accidentally closed it down, you can I think it's on the view menu and where is properties? View toolbox, notifications, properties window, there it is, right at the bottom, F4, and you will get your properties window back. If you make your text box a little bit smaller, uh, something like that size, I think should do it. Um, a little bit bigger. And from your properties, click on text. This is just like the form, where you click in here, to the right of the property, and you can type anything you want. Type first name, oops, last name. And if you want to set a font, you can scroll up a little bit and you'll see there's a font property. You can expand here and you can set them individually. You could set bold to true, italic, strike out, underline. You can also click here. Uh, let me just contract that one. You can see the three little dots on the button. If you click that, it should bring up a font dialog box where you can set them all at once. You can set the font. Oh, let's try Arial. Try Bold. Let's try 12 points. Click OK. And it's changed. Nice and big. So I'd like to add two more text boxes. So I could either double click again or if you've got this one selected, if you press Control C for copy on your keyboard, then Control V for paste, and you should get a new one. So Control V to paste, V for Victor, I think. And it will inherit all of the font properties from the one you've just copied. So you can click inside the text property again. From text, you might do... Some different text, surname, yeah. and you can paste again, control V for Victor, C V, there we go. V and you might do something like you know email. Email. And there's three tick boxes on the form. Let's do something else. We can add a little bit of color. These more properties here. It's going to call back color. Back color. Click on the arrow, down arrow. 
You can have web colors, custom colors, any color you like. Let's set them to yellow. That one's yellow. Let's give them all a uh, horrible color scheme. I think that stands out. Make that one purple. Let's make this one equally garish. Some color. That green color for that one. Right, we will now add a different control, the label. Add them in the same way. Double click. You can see they're a little bit small. But if you do this, if you're moving it around, you'll see lines appear. This is so you can align to wherever you want. You could align here, or align to the top. If you did it here, you'll see it's aligning to the left. Put it there. And you can type some text for this one, for the label. Again, if you look at the properties, you see they have similar properties. So you've got the text one, you've got the size, you've got that color again, the back color. If you wanted to change the back color, you leave it on gray or transparent, I think it is. So the text, you can uh, type anything you like for your text, first name, and you'll see it will expand to fill the label area. And again, you can copy and paste these. Control C, Control V, and the first name. If we do this, if I move it around, you can see it is moving to a line with that label and left. Let me type something like surname, and then add another label. Control C, Control V, align it as you're moving it around. And uh, I think something like email address, email address, and it will expand. Another thing you can do if you click on uh, a label here to select it, and if you hold the CTRL key on your keyboard, control, and you click with the left hand mouse button, it will select more than one label, more than one control. And you can set properties for them as one, as it were. So click on here again. Let's do the aerial font again. Do bold, 12 point. And you see it changes them all at once, all the properties. You can move them about if you, the labels are not aligned correctly. Move them about. So you get used to moving things around. Maybe that one. You can see the alignment properties. And there's our three labels and three text boxes. Before we run the form, if you click on the form itself, so you can also see there's a back color property for the form as well. The same property, back color. You can change this one again, anything you like. See what color we haven't we got? Like that one. You can see it looks horrible. Right, have a click on to your debug again. You can start without debugging to see what your form looks like. And there it is. That is what your form looks like. Oops, there it is. And this is just a normal text box. It has uh, the same behavior you would expect from a text box. You can type anything you like in here. Penny, Sonny, Sonny. And then you can type an email address in money. I think it's at home and learn. And I think we will stop there for this lesson. Uh, we will continue with something else in the next lesson. I will see you then.